Hi. Um, yeah, it's good to be back. <laughs> um, I just wanted to share my thoughts on, you know, the state of like F sharp or my views on F sharp and the F sharp ecosystem. Um, where are my manners? My hi, my name is Odi. I'm a software engineer of close to 20 years of experience. Uh, I think in the last five years, I have been also doing F sharp professionally as well. Um, although I'm not doing it right now, but yeah, story for another time. So F Sharp is a functional programming language. I got to first learn about the language in like 2013 um, from a podcast on .NET Rocks. I, I remember it fondly, you know. At first, I wasn't really drawn to the language. But then I think it was somewhere around 2015, 2016. That was when, you know, I started taking F Sharp seriously. Uh, learned the language, did a lot of things with it. Um, yeah, I owe if I owe a lot of my success, a lot of my career advancement to you know learning the language, applying the fundamental tools and principles I learned from the language. But for some reason, the language just spoke to me, and uh, yeah, here we are. Uh, my thought on the current ecosystem has a lot to do with. Um, the state of the ecosystem as a whole, the .NET ecosystem as a whole. Um, at first, I was so gung ho on F# -sharp and learning F# -sharp and all of that kind of stuff. I couldn't understand why you know F# -sharp wasn't the de facto language. But one of the reasons I'm even making this video is because I have over the years learned to accept, you know, the situation that. You've, you have such a wonderful language, you know, put in, right? It's not popular enough for people to take it seriously, especially in the enterprise. But at the same time, people don't take it seriously because it's not popular enough. So it's almost like a catch-22 kind of situation. But from a pure technical standpoint, F# -sharp has always been at the cutting edge of software engineering innovation in terms of language design. So whether it's features like units of measure or quotations or even type providers, right? This is, there are so many great ideas implemented in the language. Even the philosophy of the language is, you know, tied towards simplicity, right? And you see that in the choice of syntax, in the choice of technologies, and even the way, uh, what gets approved and what doesn't get approved to be added to the F-sharp compiler. It's, it's a really solid language and I don't regret learning it, even though it may come across, uh, this video may come across, some, uh, it may come across that way, but I really don't regret learning it. Um, it taught me a lot. I got to meet a lot of people. The community is excellent, right? I started by writing blog posts on Medium. You could check out my Medium, that, by the way, I'll put the links in the description but below. I, I wrote a lot of Medium blog posts when I was still learning the language. And I'm at the point now where I can say I'm pretty much an expert in the language. I've even uh, hosted talks um, in f -sharp conferences and stuff like that, which is great. Uh, so what's the point of this video? Well, the point of this video is just to say that, you know, expect more f -sharp content. Um, I'm finally back. I didn't finish the, the previous uh, uh, F-Sharp series I had started. Uh, the videos are still in, are still on this YouTube. I'm going to make some changes to them. Um, I think I stopped at functions or so. I will go ahead and finish those tutorials as well. Uh, the goal of this video, like I said, is just to let you all know that, you know, even though I'll be pushing F-Sharp heavily, this channel isn't going to be dedicated towards um, F-Sharp topics alone, right? I'm still going to create F-sharp content, I'm still going to put out F-sharp content, but it's not going to be my core focus anymore. Um, not because I don't love the language, if, I, if anything, you know, I love it even more now, but I have accepted the fact that it might be, it might, or it could be a niche language indefinitely. And that's okay, that's okay. It's a, it's something that, you know, it's one of those things uh, if it, it, it's either it clicks or it doesn't click right so 
if you are interested, if it clicks for you and you're interested in learning this awesome language, welcome to my channel. Enjoy. Um, there's going to be lots of content for you as well. But if it doesn't click, that's okay as well. I can explain something, a technical concept, a an idea without using F sharp syntax. I'll just use whatever, whether C sharp or JavaScript. So you're welcome to the channel. Um, this is a heads up on that. Uh, what's next? The, the language itself has been really good to me. The community has been really good to me too. Um, I have learned a lot. I have gotten opportunities. In fact, the first job I got story, let me give you a little bit of a story time. Uh, the very first job I got was an F sharp gig. Uh, you have to understand I was a software engineer in Nigeria under so much stress, you know, um, with no hope of even like making headways or making breakthroughs. And all of a sudden, you know, just because I, I knew this language, I got opportunities. I got to travel to, I got to travel to Europe for the very first time, you know, based on uh, some F sharp gigs I got, which was great. Uh, the community, I can't stress it enough, has been very, very uh, welcoming. In fact, I even got, I remember even getting like free, like mentorship tutorials on machine learning, uh, free tutorials on compiler design and stuff like that. And for that, I'm forever indebted to the F sharp community. So, uh, yeah. I, 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 it's, it's a language that will always be near and dear to my heart, but it just, it pains me to know that people who love the language are the minority and that may never change. Who knows? Uh, the optim the optimist in me is saying it's going to be something like Python, which, uh, which just started off as a niche product that a niche uh, programming language that people were very passionate about just like f sharp in fact it shares a lot of similarities with f sharp but over time python has grown in size right uh, slowly but surely it has climbed that mountain and i i kind of the optimism optimist in me sees f sharp that way right f sharp is gaining a lot of momentum even though initially microsoft didn't even want to pay it any attention but now uh, that's no longer the case, or at least it's not as bad as it used to be. Uh, now, F Sharp is still considered one of a first class citizen in .NET, which is great. Um, yeah, but the point I am bringing this up is I'm not going to like push F Sharp evangelism like I used to. And yeah, that's fine. Um, it's still a language I hold dearly. It's still a language I love. In fact, I even have like personal projects that we're building in F sharp. So make no mistake. I'm still very invested. It's just, I have learned to not be so gung ho about the language. Right. Um, I can't remember what happened. I think I had like an, in, in a certain interaction and all of a sudden it, it dawned on me that, you know, I'm, I was acting like, you know, it, it, it almost felt like it almost felt, and this is wrong, by the way, but it, it almost felt like F sharp developers are are the vegans of the .NET ecosystem. <laughs> I know I kid, but yeah, it, it, it's not far from the truth because yeah, you have to understand there is just so much passion behind the language, but very few people know it. And most of the people in the F sharp ecosystem, at least most of the new people feel like it's, it's because of a lack of knowledge. But I'm here to say that that's not the case. You know, part of the reason why a lot of uh, the F sharp community is so loud is because we felt like, oh, the reason F sharp is not as popular as it as it should be is because people don't know how great a language it is. But I, I don't think that's the case. I think you know people are a force of habit. People are you know people just use what's familiar, what's known, what's um, what's uh, uh, what every other person is using, and that's fine. Um, F sharp is never going to be that because it has its own distinct identity. It has its own, and it, and if F sharp were to become quote unquote mainstream, it would betray the very ethos that, you know, made the language so loved in the first place. So yeah, all in all, uh, just wanted to just give you guys a heads up. 
I will still finish the video tutorial as I put earlier. Uh, there are a lot of things in the works as well. Yeah, so I also forgot to mention that we have a YouTube channel as well, separate YouTube channel, myself and Scott Nimrod, uh, called Tech Conception. It's great. It talks mostly about business, uh, the business aspect of software engineering, right? We aren't really so technical in, in those ones. Um, yeah, you should really give it, yeah, check it out, you know, if you, you're interested. We had quite a few interesting guests like Ted Neward or more importantly, Jamie Edwards. And um, yeah, it, it's great. Just give it a try. Um, like and subscribe. Bye.